The Hardy Boys know what works when it comes to wedding reception food. The chefs, cookbook authors, and stars of the Food Network's Party Line with the Hardy Boys specialize in savory, impressive food that will delight, not intimidate, your guests. They say small plates are always a hit. You get full little meals, full little plates, and all kinds of different flavors, uh, cross-cultural, and it really lets you hit all the different points of the palate. And as this talented duo shows, there's no end to the possibilities when it comes to small plates of creative comfort food. Uh, the first one that we've got is uh, a carrot cumin bisque. It's great because uh, it's in a demi tasse cup, so you can pick it up and you can actually walk around. So this can be used for a cocktail hour, for an hors d'oeuvre party, or for a small plate. Then we've got a Spanish paprika shrimp and garbanzo bean salad. And we've done this one with an edible spoon. We've done it in a stemless martini glass. Now you might be asking, if you serve your guests small plates, will they be satisfied? This is a mini meal, not an hors d'oeuvre, because our hors d'oeuvres have to be two, maybe three bites. So if it's a lot smaller, then, it, then really we're just kind of cheating and putting out hors d'oeuvres. So this is a cross between tapas and dinner and hors d'oeuvres. It's like right there in the middle. When serving small plates, there's just one main rule. You can't keep using the same fork. So when you see that your caterers put on you know, 9,000 forks for your wedding, don't freak out because <laughs> they need to use a new fork every single time. You're gonna go through a lot more plates and there's a little bit more expense that you're gonna incur with that. But as far as the different types of foods that we serve. There's, there are no rules at all. And then the last one that we have is a blackened beef tenderloin. Um, Cajun spices seared blackened really quickly. And the presentation of small plate stations rather than a formal sit-down meal will make a big impression. I've been to a lot of depressing weddings where you sit down <laughs> and you get that, that chicken with the mushroom sauce and the whipped potato and that goes and then you get your slice of cake with the raspberry puree and that goes and then you're allowed to dance. It's too structured, it's too sane. With this, everybody can be on their own timeline like a good cruise.